Hey guys, it's Greg, how's it going? So today I'm gonna to review the machine learning specialization from the University of Washington. Now I'm gonna let you know this right away and you might already be guessing that with Andrew Ng's recent update regarding his new machine learning specialization in Python, that is probably going to trump this. His course hasn't come out yet. His new one is coming out in June. So the really only reason that people would take the University of Washington one, the one right here, over the old Andrew Ng course is because this is in Python. And so a lot of people took this not wanting to do MATLAB I, or, or Octave, it's the same thing. And I completely understand that, that makes sense. I was still pushing the old Andrew Ng course because I think it's better. I think a lot more people know it. Um, I think the certification, like just showing on LinkedIn uh, is a little bit better than this. Um, but now with Andrew Ng's new course, honestly, that trumps this pretty hard. Nonetheless, uh, for those of you that maybe don't like Andrew Ng's teaching, uh, there's some sort of you know problem there, or you just you know you really don't like it. Uh, that's totally okay to each their own. You know, for the time being, I guess as well. Then this is this is a good option as well. Okay, so I will properly review it. It has 4.7 stars on 12,000 ratings, which is quite good. You know, a lot of people have taken that, and that's obviously quite a quite a good amount. Um, so here are the different skills that you would learn is pretty much all of the machine learning stuff. I'm not going to list them out. This is pretty expected aside from the one that I want to talk about here, which is deep learning. This is most certainly not a deep learning specialization and uh, they'll get into the detail um, as, as to when it does talk about deep learning because it does. There's a reason that they put it on there. Um, but at the same time, it's really not even close to a replacement for the deep learning specialization, which regardless of any of these machine learning courses that uh, you decide to take um, or read the books, you should really do the deep learning specialization uh, if you're not comfortable with neural networks, okay? Uh, so that's the idea. I'm gonna go into the first course. So this is the first course of four. I have them at the top here. And this is a, a case study approach to learning the basics. So it's actually a very interesting way to get started. Um, because it has deep learning in here in the first course in machine learning. Now, for those of you that don't totally understand, and that's you know probably most people that haven't taken a machine learning course, uh, deep learning is really just complicated machine learning, okay? So it's like machine learning on steroids, basically. Um, linear regression is something that they'll talk about and I'm sure that that's probably the first thing that they'll do just to check. Yes, so, I'm sorry, syllabus, machine learning is everywhere. Regression, predicting housing prices. I don't remember, but I would be shocked if this wasn't uh, a linear regression, okay? So that's kind of the most simple technique and what we'll see in the classification one, we'll see something called logistic regression and that's the most simple classification algorithm. Basically, you have regression, which is predicting continuous values, and you have classification, which is predicting discrete or a set of outcomes like cat versus dog or different colors. So you have those simple algorithms like linear regression and logistic regression. And of course, they'll talk about these, but also I'm just going to jump to the end of this course and they do deep learning searching for images, which is kind of crazy to have this in the first course. And it's 74 minutes. Like this is not just um, this is not just a two seconds. Like this is what neural networks uh, are capable of. Um, but if you look in the details here, it is actually not specific to too much because all of these are very very short videos. Uh, learning very nonlinear features with neural networks, for example, this is a nine minute video, which is one of the longer ones. Um, but it's still only going to really tell you kind of sort of how neural networks are working and really not into all of the details here. And that's fine, especially in an introductory course. Uh, it's just they're kind of sort of trying to get a, a, a catch here where they want to use the deep learning tag. Um, they want to grab people and say, hey, you can learn machine learning and deep learning at the same time. So it's not going to go so much into the complex on the deep learning side, but it will go fairly complex into the normal machine learning side 
without incorporating deep learning. Okay, so just getting that out of the way first. Uh, it does say intermediate level for the specialization. If you go into read in the FAQ, pretty much it just says that you should be familiar with Python already. Uh, so if you're, you know, if you've seen a lot of my content and you haven't learned Python yet, I have a couple modules uh, in a playlist or a few playlists uh, to get going, and I feel like that would probably be enough to to get moving with this. Uh, and then, you know, some basic math skills it probably uh, wouldn't hurt, but also not necessary, I, I, I suspect. Okay, so case study approach, you basically just kind of, in the first course, you look over all the different pieces of what it can do, regression, predicting houses, classification, sentiment analysis, clustering, retrieving documents, recommendations, so Amazon's recommendation system or how Facebook or LinkedIn finds people to connect with, okay? So yeah, recommendation systems, and then a little bit about how deep learning uh, works, which is, it's kind of an interesting idea there. Uh, just the, the, the timing and the placement of putting that, I think it's a little interesting, but it's nice. I think it's nice actually. So in the second course, you start to really get into the details of what we call regression. And it's not, uh, it's not just limited to regression. We have this thing, uh, I saw it earlier when I searched, yes, bias and variance trade-off. Okay. So Really what you need to learn, what you need to get out of the machine learning course or any sort of machine learning course is make sure that you understand the bias variance trade-off and uh, how something like lasso, which is uh, a way of doing regularization, is going to affect the bias variance trade-off and, and to what degree. Uh, you need to be able to build a regression model. The code's not hard. It's not that the code is interesting. Um, it's that uh, understanding how it works at least maybe 70, 80% of how it works uh, is something really important to get out. Uh, and this thing called cross-validation, which is important to training all models. So really when training models, we keep in mind the bias variance trade-off and we use cross-validation to try and uh, get the lowest error, make the best model um, and the mo most robust model, robust meaning, um, you know, it, it generalizes. So you train on one set of information you can then use that model in the real world, uh, and you need to know the bias variance trade-off and, uh, and, and the cross-validation techniques so that you can do that. So you need to get that out of this course in classification. Uh, it also has decision tree here, by the way. Um, logistic regression is a really strong technique. Uh, it actually is quite powerful, even though it's not it's relatively complicated statistics-wise, but again, to implement, it's, it's really, really easy. Uh, and so we look at linear classifiers. So logistic regression, this is actually, it's an interesting way to write that. Linear, linear, or sorry, logistic regression is a linear classifier, okay? So what that means is it draws linear decision boundaries. If you had like say all the red stuff over here and all the blue stuff over here, it would draw a line through it uh, to try and separate what's red and what's green. Other models, they kind of get more curvy and they don't draw lines. Uh, so how to learn them, they go into the, they go into that. I do want to see um, data likelihood. Yeah, so they get pretty into, yeah, interpreting derivative for logistic regression. Uh, they get pretty into the details on that, which is quite nice actually. I believe that that's a good idea. It's not necessarily required. Um, careful with step sizes that are too large. I like seeing that, that's extremely good. Um, and this stuff is very optional. It's getting pretty complicated, um, but you know, it, it, it does really help your, your mind a lot to try and process those things. Although uh, for those that aren't relatively into the math already, that's, um, that's gonna be a little bit difficult to be honest. So two really good courses there. We talk about the difference between regression and classification and go over some common techniques for those. And it said you also use decision trees which uh, by themselves are not amazing, but combined with something like a random forest, which is the average of multiple of them, roughly speaking, uh, something like gradient boosting or XG boost, which fits, uh, keeps fitting trees to residuals. These are all, um, you know, very, you know, commonly used techniques. So machine learning and clustering, uh, what's it? Yeah, machine learning clustering and retrieval. So we talk about k-nearest neighbors and, uh, and reducing computations doing that. Not sure if that's completely necessary, to be honest, but um, not a bad idea. Cluster documents by topic using k-means, that's quite nice. 
Uh, paralyzed K means using map reduce. I freaking love that they put that in there. No. Wow. Uh, expectation of maximization. I want to see how much they actually go into the details. I, I'm relatively familiar with the courses, but uh, I, don't, I don't know every single detail. Um, mixture models, 91 minutes. Yeah, wow, bivariate and multivariate Gaussians. So this this specialization, yeah, it's a honestly it does get relatively into the math, and I do feel like without some basic math skills and maybe a little bit of um, the more complicated stuff, uh, some of this might be a little bit tricky. But um, you know, it's not. It I think you will be able to fight through most of it, and it's quite nice actually. Uh, it, it it is a really nice uh, specialization. Machine learning is complicated. Like it's it's hard to uh, it's hard to get a good machine learning course without going pretty into the details. Um, you can, but then it's pretty much just looking up documentation and uh, looking how to do things. I this actually this specialization does a pretty great job. Um, there's some pieces that go more into the math than Andrew Ng's old piece, like that expectation maximization piece, um, and a lot of the other stuff is pretty similar to Andrew Ng's course. This definitely hits the bit, hit, hits the strong points. Uh, obviously, the people like it, and you know I would recommend it. And I've been recommending it, and uh, and I know some people that have taken it, and I know their opinions on it, and it's pretty good. It's honest. It's honestly pretty good. Um, for a certification, like for for putting that on your LinkedIn or whatever, it's not bad. I'd still say that the machine learning one by Andrew Ng, the old one, provides probably more credibility in my opinion, um, and you know his new course. I, I still think that it's going to trump it. Um, this review, you know, I like it. Like it's this is a great specialization. But it's just not my recommendation today. Um, so with that being said, I, I hope that this still provided some value. Uh, if if it did, maybe drop a like. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll see you later, guys.